Well, the economy is, it is what it is. In fact, what is very important is to really, uh, as you mentioned earlier on, the high net worth individuals uh, grew significantly uh, between 2018 and 2019. And I think the most interesting point is to note here is the population. We, uh, we had an 8.8% growth year over year to 19.6 million high net worth individuals. So amid of the economy and amid of the situation, the, uh, the high net worth population is still growing. You make the, the, the key point. Let, let's move on from the, the money they've made, because they say, as you say, it remains to be seen and it is what it is for this year. But in your executive summary, you make the point that uh, the pandemic and global interdependencies has tossed wealth management firms into uncharted waters. I would say to you, and I don't know if you would agree or disagree, that those um, asset management companies, those wealth management companies, were seeing a tsunami of problems even before the, uh, the, the COVID-19, just because of the underperformance of active management compared with passive. That's correct. So, so the COVID has not been any has been an accelerator of the situation, rather more than a, a big change. In fact, what we have noticed is the high net worth individuals is really looking for hyper personalization, and the wealth management firms are struggling to give them the hyper personalization. They are also looking to challenge the fee based today, uh, which is the second challenge they are seeing, and the uh, wealth management firms are also uh, struggling with that. And the last thing also the high net worth are looking for is a different asset allocation where the sustainable investment is picking up quite well. All these are creating an uncharted waters, as you said, for the wealth management firms. And the answer to that is the hyper personalization and the leverage of technology to better serve the customer.